this might be a bad idea. It's not much of a boat ramp, dude. It's kind of sketchy. We can probably get it in, but getting it out is going to be a problem. But we're down here, one of the canal systems just south of Clewiston. Never fished this canal system before. And we're going to see what happens. What do you think, Brandon? You, you ready to go? You know, we could probably, probably have some fun out here. What do you think? Yeah, fish bus. Uh, that's a gar. Car drive by. How you doing? Hey. I don't know. Well, we can get it in right here, maybe. Well, today, guys, we're going to go on a little adventure. We're going to fish some new water. We've never fished this canal system before. I've driven by it many, many times. And uh, there's just got to be some good bass in here. There's got to be. So I'm excited about it. You never know what you're going to catch. It's always That's the neat thing about down here. You've got hundreds of miles of canals. Go a little bit this way. A little more. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, boy. Right here by this bridge. It's got to be a good spot. And these canals, any structure, a turn in the bank, bridge pylons like this, are all things that would be a good place to catch a fish. Who's going to catch the first one? You'd think they'd be right here in these little mats. All right, let's make, let's make a, I'll fish up this corner here, rig up, and let's, let's move on down. What is that? Look at that. What is that? Looks like a car or something. We'll drop the waypoint on. We'll go back across in a minute. I don't know what it is. It's sitting up off the bottom, though. It's got a big shadow. Yeah, that's just like a piece of a bridge there or something. Dude, that's a truck. That's a truck right there. This? I think that's a truck. Yeah, dude, those are car. That's a car, dude. Looks like there's three of them. I'm gonna save that. That's a car, dude. That's crazy. Look at that. That's a car. See the top of the car? It looks like a beetle, like one of those VW Beetles. I'm like creeped out right now. That's creepy, dude. What well, if there's a body in there? Is that weird? Are you feeling weird? It is a little weird. Like I'm a little tripped out. I'm being. I'm straight up. Just because you just don't know, man. You don't know. I don't know. We gotta call somebody. We'll call the sheriff department and let them know. Oh, that is creepy, dude. What's received? Palm Beach County Sheriff's Department. All agents are busy, so your call is important to us and will be answered in the order of what's received. Uh, yes, ma'am. My name is uh, Scott Martin, and I am uh, fishing over here in a canal off of, uh, off of, <coughs> just north of the, <coughs> and there's a truck in the water. Um, oh, yeah, it's underwater, okay, but, let me try to, I'm going to have to try to find out where you are. So is it unoccupied? Yeah, it's underwater. I, I don't, I mean, I can't. I can't. Okay, so let me try to find out exactly where you are. Now, it looks like it's been there for a while, right? Like, not not occupied, no, as far as you know, no people yeah, outside, yeah. like that? No, no, it doesn't look occupied. I mean, it's underwater totally. I don't okay. see any fresh tra track marks or, you know, there's no body floating in the water or anything like that. Okay, so probably when the guy clears his traffic stop, yep. they'll just contact towards you, okay? And I'll okay. keep an eye on it and try to call you back with the update. Okay, thank you. I'll be waiting. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Dude, that's creepy, man. She said to keep fishing. But I, I don't want to fish right here. I'll fish. <laughs> Dude, what if there's like you snagged something and it moves? That's what I'm hoping. It's not a fish. <laughs> it's a haunted canal, dude. That's why they're not biting in here. Ghost fish. Ghost it's, it's 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 got bad. Ju it's a bad. This is a juju canal. Bad juju canal. You got some bad juju in here. What if we're part of helping solve an unsolved mystery? We're gonna be we're gonna be on Fox News, dude. Tomorrow they're gonna be asking you to come to Fox News because we found we found something that they've been looking for for 28 years. Oh, okay. What if there's like a trunk full of drugs or cash? 
Do we get a percentage of the cash? Uh, no. I don't want the drugs, but <laughs> we might have screwed up. Maybe you should have went down there to see what's in it first. Yeah, it's right in here. I can see it real good on the side image. We're down here fishing, doing a little, trying to do a fishing show. When we came down through here. It's like a pickup truck. It's right. It's right there. Can you tell what it is? I mean, I can tell it's a. Yeah, I can tell it's a pickup truck. Oh, pickup truck. Yeah. You can see the image on your. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Are you freaked out, dude? Are you freaked out? Mm -hmm. We have our good friend Deidre from Moss Towing showing up. And we have the officers here now. And the vehicle, the vehicle's right in there. We'll make a, a makeshift marker. You can see the truck right there, dude. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right there. That's it. See it? You can even see the window. Yeah. See that? That means the window's down, right? Looks like there's a seat. Is that the person in there, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Dude, that's so creepy, bro. For real, that's creepy. I can see like the cab and the window and the and everything. So that's uh, Moss Towing right there, guys. Uh, some good friends of ours from uh, Clewiston and Bellblade own that. They're the big tow company here in the region. So. If you ever need a tow, you gotta call Moss Towing. That's all I know, right? Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Man, fancy stuff there. Uh, part of the process is what we do is we go down there. Yep. We make sure everything is clear right. before we pull it out. Feel around, we sure. feel around, make sure there's nothing in there. Yeah, because, nobody in the seat. Or yeah. yeah. Uh, simply because if that's the case, then we have to go out at a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, then it becomes a crime scene. We call in the crime scene technicians and okay. everything else. Okay. We have a crime scene technician on staff, so it helps us out. Yeah. All right, so guys, they brought the uh, dive team in. They have Moss Towing showed up. We have the sheriff's department over there. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, they've got a dive team set up with tent and everything in case they find bad things. What's that? Dude, that could be possible murder stuff, dude. I wouldn't touch that. What if they shot the dude or whoever and then crashed it and you just touched them? Now you're going to be prime suspect. Prime suspect number one. You've picked up the bullets, dude. Do not touch anything here. This is evidence. <laughs> well, guys, I'm a little nervous, I'm going to be honest with you, because you just don't really know what to expect here. I mean, you just don't know. I mean, it could be all kind of things in that. But at the very least, it would be closure. You know, it would be closure for something. It would be closure for somebody's lost car or something worse, you know? <laughs> So Hector, how do you, will you put these, don't, those aren't going in the water, are they? Yes. So they'll go all the way down, the divers will hook those clamps? Or those? To, their, to their strap. Yeah, yeah to their so strap. They, once they put their strap on there, they give us the okay and then we'll lift it up. Wow. And you're going to lift it right up here? Right up here. Wow. Right onto a little, uh, little bit. Wow. All right guys, let's, let's, uh, let's, do a little, let's do a little something here. So pause the video, and then in the comments section, put what you think it is. Is it a Ford truck, a Chevy truck? Is it not a truck? What do you What do you think? So they got the divers in the water. Kind of crazy deal. See the water bottle? It'll be right this side of the water bottle. So they're diving down. They I th they said they found it. So now I think they're going to take straps, wrap around the vehicle, and then crank it up. So let me say another thing that this is good for a lot of reasons. It's good for the environment. A car in this water system right here, leaking oil, leaking grease, contaminating the water here is not good for the environment. So getting this vehicle out is going to improve the water quality down here. So I feel good about that. I'm glad we found it. Again, it's going to be closure for something. There it is, right there. It's coming up right now. It's coming up. There it is. What is that? What? Oh, that is crazy. Oh, the 
whole clock's going to come off. It's in there. That is crazy. That's not a Ford truck. It's not a Ford truck. I don't know what's in it. Look at that, there's no rear end and no wheels. Good job, guys. Thank you, sir. That's the insurance job, you think? No. Oh, yeah, probably. Or stolen. Probably stolen, right? Stolen they stripped for it. insurance? Yeah, it's stolen. And that's what it was. They stole it because, see, there's no motor. There's no rear end. Oh, they took the motor out yeah. and everything? See, look at there's no motor, there's no rear end. Yeah. So, well, and it had been somebody that, on a tow truck, dumped it in a canoe. Wow. So look at it. There's nothing on it. Wow. You can't roll that off. Yeah. So, guys, they said they they're, they actually found, they did find a second vehicle. This is the, the one that I think I saw beside the truck, but I couldn't tell. And doesn't appear to be anything inside the vehicle of real importance other than a free breeze air freshener that could possibly still be good we're not sure yet what he pointed out which is interesting is that whoever dumped this car here took the engine out took the rear end out took all the wheels off so they stripped the car and then they dumped it in so they had to have some type of tow truck or flatbed trailer to dump the vehicle off in so whoever does that that's bad you know that's bad for them to dispose of a vehicle like that and probably stolen so you have thieves and they're polluting the environment. It's awful. Ugh, that's so gross. That is so gross. Look in there. That is gross. It looks like this one's been in there a long time because it was sunk down in the mud. I couldn't see it so good. But the other one I can see pretty good. Let's go back to the boat and get ready for the second one. I don't know. It's another car with no engine, no transmission, no front end, no wheels. Complete stolen. What's that hanging out? There's something hanging out. All right, so what, what the situation is, is they have this car and there's on this car no VIN numbers so it's impossible to you know find out whose car it is this one has VIN numbers and so it's good because a they can know whose car it is and see if it's connected to a crime or a murder or you know it could be lots of things dude but if they've been there that long dude Pablo Escobar it's Pablo it's Pablo Escobar's Drunk running Monte Carlo. <laughs> no engine. And there's roots growing. Oh, God. Body bags back here. Kilos of cocaine. God, no. It's an old Miami Vice car, I'm telling you. So, guys, they found uh, a truck. They said it's a truck. I still think it's a Ford. But we'll find out here in a minute. They said if they can't find a VIN number, you can have it. All you gotta do is put a rear end in it, and an engine, and some, and some wheels. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, Brandon. Oh, look at it, look at it, what is it? Probably a Ford F-150. Oh, look at that. Ford. It's a Ford. Crew cab. Dude, there's a bunch of stuff in that one. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that, there's so much stuff in that truck right there. Man, that is so crazy. Yeah. Dude, I saw something in there. Like what? what? Creepy. I don't know. A gator? No. Yeah. I'm sure it's nothing, but. The strap breaking? It's all that mud in there. It makes it so heavy. Oh, it's going to tear the whole car apart, dude. You know why? Why? Because that's an aluminum body. That's what an aluminum body is. 
Uh, there's a, there's some, that, yeah. There's some uh, bolts sticking out of that concrete right there. You might not want to. They might want to rehook so I can dump that uh, dirt. So what's happening now is they have to basically rehook the truck because it had so much mud, waterlogged mud in it, that you couldn't lift it up out of the water without the straps potentially breaking. So that's what they're doing right now. Look at that, Brandon. That can be yours for $383. Look. Okay, they're pretty new, too. It's amazing that that much mud gets in there that quick. Well, man, you did good. Thank you very much, sir. You did real good, man. Three vehicles. Can you believe it? Yeah, happens. That's crazy, man. And this one here is not stripped down. No, not stripped down at all. This is probably a straight up dump job. Yeah. When they when they come in like this and they got all the windows open and right. they tend to be yeah. that they dump them. Really? So they've already had like a late payment or you know. Late whatever. payment, so they don't yeah. you know, they just can't afford it anymore, things like that. It happens all the time. Thank thankfully we were able to check it beforehand though, yeah. because what happens is sometimes these are actual accidents. Right. So it looks like there's nothing uh in this one too dramatic but it is a different type of deal whether it's a stolen car or an insurance job obviously we won't know and uh crazy it's amazing there was that many cars in there Guys, that looks like that's a wrap. Looks like it's a wrap. I, I didn't expect any of this, obviously. Simple fishing trip turns into this. Hopefully you enjoyed this craziness. I don't even know what just happened other than just we found free. Oh, that's, that's not good. But it was an interesting day, to say the least. And I, here's what I'm excited about. I'm excited there wasn't anybody's body in there. That's good. I'm also excited that we got three cars out that pollute the water. That's a good thing. And uh, I thought it was interesting. So if you want to see some more crazy stuff like this, they told me that they find cars all the time and they need a boat for sonar. So we'll do some more videos. If you like this, you never know what we're going to find, right? We also would find like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. But nevertheless, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you, Moss Towing. Thank you, Diving Team. We gone. We gone. Ow! Thank you.